Just moved in my new house today Moving was hard but I got squared away Bell started ringing and changed right loud I knew I'd moved in a haunted house Still I made up in my mind to stay Nothing was gonna drive me away Hey, peeps! <laughs> Welcome to Setup De Dos, or for those non-Spanish speaking people, Day 2. <laughs> uh, had errands to run this morning, one of them went down to one of my grower friends, we picked up our two bales of hay, and that's what we use to put in all of our displays to hide the wiring, and we picked up two huge pumpkins, they weigh 50 to 70 pounds a pop, and those will sit out front in our haunt. It'll be hard for someone to carry those away. <laughs> but I've been back for a bit now. Been doing a little bit of organizing. Uh, problem I was having with the bubble tubes, you know, with that T-fitting. Got those fixed yesterday. Or I actually got those fixed this morning. Bought some new things and I'll go over that with you. End of the day or one of the later segments. Uh, been working out here in the tent, putting my roofing material up. And I got all four tents done. I just got done doing the big tent. And all this is, is a landscaping fabric that uh, they use over bare hillsides. They put this down and then they throw plant seed on it. And the plants grow up in between this and over the years it kind of rots away. It's kind of a jute material. But they use it in, in landscaping. And now I got my bracing straps on. I just finished those and these serve a couple of purposes usually on larger tents I'll do something like this to help keep the uh, legs you know from splaying out and for me it gives me a temporary uh, attaching point for the walls until I can get the bracing on so I always put those up there and I got that done next job is I gotta start getting all the foam panel I have made out here and I've also got to get all the wall panels out here. It's time to put up walls. And no, I am not going to set the camera up and do any fast forward. I want to try to keep the vlogs fairly short this year. So less talking, less footage, bigger results. Hopefully. Alright, time for dinner break. <laughs> it's about six o'clock my time. Uh, I think I'll give you a little bit of a shot of what I got so far. We got the roof on earlier today, and I've got the perimeter walls for the big tent done. And I was just getting ready to start doing the stub wall that divides the gypsy display from the sewer room. And it goes from there out to about here, and then over that way to give them kind of an L bracket to run. And then into the gypsy display and out. Ah, running errands this morning ate up a lot of time. I am not quite as far as I wanted to be today. Uh, I'm going to eat a real quick dinner. I'm going to get back out here. I need to get this wall finished out and over today. And then I'm going to start putting the skins up for both the sewer room and the gypsy display. And then whatever I don't get done today, we'll get done tomorrow. Ain't that how it always is? So let's see how far we get after dinner. Hey guys. Uh, after dinner, <laughs> actually just getting ready to call a quits outside here. My daughter just came out and reminded me that it is father-daughter night. So I kind of killed what I was going to do. <laughs> I was trying to get the uh, panels for the gypsy room up and done, and I was going to call it quits out here. I got maybe about an hour, half hours more work, maybe. Uh, and then, uh, let's see here. We've got the walls over there up in the uh what's going to be the sewer room i uh, got the main panel up here and i did get a few of the skins up for the gypsy display trying to kill myself here and we made it and i know it's gone dark you can't see squat but that little bump out i just walked in there is done and I got one sewer room panel up. 
So uh, it looks like tomorrow we're going to be doing some skinning in here and uh, made some progress today. Now I'm going to pop out into the shop and I'll run you through what we're going to be doing the rest of the evening. Hey peeps, welcome back to the Dragon's Lair Workshop. God, I haven't said that in a while. Uh, we have planned on working on the water tubes. I got to get the wiring cleaned up on that one and I still got to get that and that wired up. But as I said in the last segment, my daughter reminded me yeah, it's father's da father daughter night. And what she likes to do is get the snacks out and we watch Monday Night Raw, aka wrestling, every Monday. Very rarely have we ever missed a Monday together. So, no water tubes tonight. That's not going to stop me from doing something Halloween y. <laughs> what we're going to end up doing. I'm going to be painting dogs. I think I'm going to take one of the dogs in, a couple of paint brushes, and the red paint, uh, red fluorescent I want to use. And while we're sitting there watching wrestling, I'll paint some puppies. At least that way I'm getting something Halloweeny done. Halloweeny? It's like a weenie, but me. Yeah. Anyway, with that, I'm going to bring this to a close. Another short vlog. And yes, guys, this year on the setup vlogs, I'm going to try to keep it shorter. Usually the uh, setup logs for the hunt run anywhere from 30 to 45 up to an, uh, minutes long, up to an hour long. This year I'm going to try to keep it way under 30. So uh, if you see me putting something up, I haven't clarified it or specified enough, and you're curious, have questions, throw me a comment. And if you're watching us on Fo uh, Foobook, <laughs> Foobook, yeah, Facebook, hop on over and subscribe to my channel. Come on, I like to get to 600. Oh, and I forgot to say, stay spooky, stay toxic. <laughs>